Hello everybody and welcome to episode 2 of All The Mods 4. This episode we're going to see if we can get those silent mechanisms or silence mechanisms machines, the basic ones, up and ready. And I want to use the minimum resources so I'm going to just do a little bit better than that. Well, faster than that because it's going to take forever otherwise. So let's get started. So in this panel there I've got the stuff I need for the first machines. Um, I've got this smooth stone glass and some iron ingots i've managed to yeah tin we found last time and i also managed to find some aluminium too so let's get this stuff out of uh, in here that's so i think i probably want to put those down the bottom here let's take everything out of here if we can in fact the easiest way of course is to shift it in that way and then everything comes to the right place so we need to make two machine frames from silent mechanisms and let's get that right in here Two basic machine frames are these, so we'll get those done. Should be two exactly the right resources for two. And then we want to make the basic alloy smelter, which is here. And I'm missing bricks, but we've got the bricks, we can do those. That was already prepared. I can hear a zombie. Oh, must be night time. Indeed, it is. So I've got an advancement for doing that. Let's do the next one. So that's now the basic alloy smelter. Which is prepared for this one. The next thing I would like to make is the basic crusher. Because that's the one that's going to give us a lot of stuff to start with. Um, the alloy smelter basic crusher. This basically does all doubling. And it's not too expensive. It's the aluminium and the smooth stone and the, and the frame. But the bronze ingots are the trouble. We need to use the alloy smelter to do that first of all so so i've got the advancement for doing the alloy smelter this is the next level actually this is what i want here i want to make some solar panels i want to make a solar panel tier two so what i want is this stuff in here for the tier two one and what we're going to do with that one is we are going to um use I'm going to smelt up some iron. I have actually got quite a reasonable amount of iron. So we need eight pieces of iron for the for those two solar panels and the piston to make that. So let's get this smelted up quickly. In fact, I'll do half in here and I'll put half in the other one here. So it should go reasonably fast. The tier, the tier one solar panels give you one iron. FE per tick, one RF per tick, which is actually too slow. I'm having a look out the window to see if there's anything interesting going on there while we're doing that. I have been mining. Uh, I have found diamonds, and I will show you those next time, I think, because I got a good cluster. I found a one. I think I found three clusters, or just about three. One's a fairly big one, I think, and the other one's just a single diamond by itself. Because of all the ores and things in the pack, the diamonds are fairly rare. So let's take those and those and make up the solar panels. I want seven solar panels. I think I've got more glass than I need for this. And seven solar panels, I need some wood. I should have plenty of wood around in here. So we need five per, that's 28. So I'll probably have to make 32. Actually, I can probably make 28, can't I? that's the seven for the solar panels and redstone so I've got plenty of redstone I'll put that into here and make those up so the solar panels are the mirrors of this one and the solar panel recipe for that one it's just that we should make be able to make seven why oh, can't oh because of course yes of course because I've got an odd piece of wood in here let's do that again that's five plus two am I short of some I'm short of wood oops again uh, no I don't need that do I that's the reason so solar panels want to do so we have our eight solar panels we can now make a piston as well I need some more wood for that of course that's what the other piece of wood was for of course I haven't forgotten the extra piece so I'll do that quickly make up a Piston. I always get these two confused with it. It's in the middle of the end. Yep. 
like that. So piston, we put the piston in the middle and we put these eight solar panels around it. Like that will make a tier two solar panel. It's a bit slow, but it's probably going to be adequate to get the basic alloy smelter running. So now it's daytime. Have a quick look. Press the Z on the map as before I go out. Make sure there's no mobs in front of me. There aren't any good. There are also no cyan drops. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the basic alloy smelter down here. Like that. And I'm going to put on top of it the... Actually, yes, I'll put on top of it the solar panel. So that's going to start gaining power. So what we need to make is some bronze. So for that we need three copper and one tin. And that'll be enough to make the bronze. It won't be enough to... It, there's not enough power in here to keep up. But it's it'll go fast enough. So while that's doing that, let's just go and... Uh, oh, there's a... I was wondering if there's a trader around. They, they come around from time to time. So I might as well chop down some trees while I'm doing that. Now this, these are a bit slow, but uh, I can already excavate them away. But you will get some quite serious lag as soon as, as the trees um, start to drop, <laughs> as you can see. That was wrong one. And it's starting to rain. I better be careful because mobs will spawn in when it's raining. See this is another tree that I found. Just actually was just around the side of the base here, so I'm gonna plant this one but it's connecting to the other one. So what I want to do is I want to move it slightly out of the way. Like this. And then go and collect all of these up and pick up the bits and pieces. Now on the map you can see oh, I just saw you disappear. You can see the cyan. Uh oops, wrong one. I want, this, I want these in here, don't I? You can see the cyan of the, the items which are being dropped. And I think that wants to go here. Break that one. But I need to be careful because of mob spawning. And there should be another one in the middle here. There. You can see there's still a few bits which are hard to see, but you can see on the map they are there to be picked up so there we go so a good good few samples and things there and it's probably finished by now it has indeed so what i'm going to do now is make the next machine which is the crusher so for the crusher that's actually for the um coal fired engine i've all got stuff with me haven't i so for the crusher the basic crusher We've got our bronze ingots, so we can do that one now. Basic alloy smelter, basic crusher. Oops, I should have been a, try doing that in the right place. So we now have a basic crusher. And this will crush up our ores pretty quickly. And what I want to do is I want to crush up some iron ore. And I've got plenty of iron ore in here. So let's take, let's do half a, what's for stack? Let's do 16 get these crushed up so we'll get some ore doubling straight away I think it's coming towards night time hard to, it's hard to tell whether it's night time or not but what I'm going to do is just remove this from that one grab it and put it on this one yep yeah, it's not night time it's just raining so I've just got to watch out for the mob spawning what I will do however is to get a I need to fill this in. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare an area to do some AFK fishing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the AFK fishing just down here, like this. And I'm going to use the panda design for doing AFK fishing. There are a couple of designs around at the moment for 14, 1.14, where you can do other ones. So the one I'm going to do is the panda design because that's one I've used in the past, and it still works. So why not? So what I need is a three by uh, a three by three area, or oh, a three by four area. I think it needs to be four long. I'm not going to spend any time beautifying this up. So I'm going to have a doorway in here like this. I'll put another block on that. We'll make a, a doorway at the top here. So I need to go back enough to far enough to do this. So let's just dig about it back a bit. 
needs to be three high and probably about four long. So we have the doorway there, one, two, three, four long. I think that's long. Let me just make it three wide. Like that. I, if it gets to night time, I have to be careful. When there's a when there's a travelling um, trader about, you know it's night time because they're, they're starting to drink invisibility potions. <laughs> so they can't be seen. Let's just put on the top here some cobblestone. That's at least it's a bit sort of explosion proof in case a creeper comes along. With a bit of luck, not too far above our head will be daylight. But obviously I need to make some glass before I do the daylight, so let's we'll get that ready. I'm not sure what the light levels in here, let's have a quick look. Too dark, don't want mobs spawning, so let's put in a torch. Down the bottom. In fact I can get rid of this piece as well, it's in the way. Let's have a look how this how's this getting on. So that's full up. I didn't put my iron ore in there yet, so it is ready to do its business. Let's just take this one away. Like that. I'm just wondering whether to keep these or to remove them at the moment. We'll, anyway, we'll get on with doing our our spawner for uh, our um, FK fish farm. So for the AFK fish farm, what I'd like to do is I need some wood. I'll turn this all into planks as it happens. Uh, we need to make a. Um, I've got some redstone on me. Good. This one. I need to make a, a note block, which is just one. Eight wood around the planks around it. Redstone gives us a note block. We also need to make. And uh, maybe I can get some iron out of here now. Yes, I can. Good. I can let this double go through again. If I do it, go, let it go through again, which I will do later on, I will get another 10% iron in there. So we'll split this up and again into two. Because it only uses one. And I want one of these. And a piece of stone. So I need a piece of stone in here. So I'm going to do half a stack of uh, uh, cobblestone to make a piece of stone. Stone's always handy for other recipes as well, so we might as well get some made in at the beginning of the game. Smooth stone's different from stone. Can I get rid of this stuff for a second? Good. Remove the bits and pieces that don't want with me at the moment. So put it in there. So we've got our piece of stone. And then from that we can make um to, uh, two tripwire hooks. I'm not sure what the recipe for tripwire hooks are. I don't make them that often. And then you get two tripwire hooks. We also need to make some iron doors, so we shall need another five. Actually, another. F we've got three here, so I need some more iron. That stopped because it's probably night time. And I still haven't got um, a bed yet. Have to do that next time. Let's get these into here and get these smelted up. So we've got one extra. What else do we need? We need a chest. We'll make the chest up. Now that you've got to be careful with chests. There's different types of chests in the pack. I'm not sure no one did that. But in fact, it's probably even been daft. I probably should just do a set of four chests. Oh, <laughs> not quite like that. And use a lot of chests in the game. Whatever else we do. So what have we got in here now? I've got six good, so we can now make our door. Ah. Oh. We need a piece of string which is going to be more difficult to do. And I need some levers. So let's do let's get these levers made up. Well at least one lever. I'll make two anyway. We'll put the door down to start with. I think I need to put the door from the outside. Yes. 
and then we can put the lever on the door here like this. Nope. In fact, I should be putting a button on this side, shouldn't I, to get in? Or yeah, a button would be more sensible. So we've got some stone in here, so we got we can make a button. Actually, we've got here. Look, didn't need to do that. So we can get in. Just a bit curious, I thought I heard something, but I didn't. Let's put the button down here. So we can get in here safely enough, and put another piece of cobblestone at the top, close it off. Right, and then we can put a we can put a um, printer is going doing its thing. A lever on the side, so we can open the door and leave it open. And then we need to build the thing. So we need a slab. And I haven't got any slabs with me, have I? And they can make slabs out of stone these days, but I'm going to carry on with cobblestone. It's still a bit cheaper. Don't need to use any fuel. We can safely build this while we're actually doing our thing. Oh, I need a hopper. That was the other thing I do need. Have I got any more iron? Two pieces, not enough. Smelt these up. I've got three pieces of iron. I need another two after that. Tell you what, I'll come back in a second when the when it's daylight and I've got the iron. I'll see you in a second. Right, just coming into daylight. Let's have a look over here and see if we've actually got the ice right, cooking away. Good, we've got the other two pieces. We can start to do those. String's going to be our biggest problem, I reckon. Um, bit of a shame, but we, we'll build everything up until we get to the string. And then we'll go and see if we can find any string, if we've got enough time. Which may or may not be the case as it happens. <laughs> right, one more piece of iron. And I can make the hopper and then we can assemble this thing. It's not difficult to assemble. In fact, I know it off by heart now. I think I've got everything right. I might need to go a bit wider. We'll close the door anyway. So I would like to stand maybe here if I stand here then I might have to go back three blocks the reason I would like to stand here is we probably could put a, a, a pressure plate here to get out so we put down the slab and then we put in front of the slab a yeah, we need to go back a bit further we put in front of the slab a chest you can have multiple chests of course like that in fact there's easy you could even put a hopper on, on that chest as it happens um, so we can get multiple chests going down and then we come to the back of this chest here we put in the hopper that's the thing that's a little bit tricky where's the hopper oh i made the hopper yet have i let's go and quickly make the hopper now i hear him there's a, there's a traveling trader just come up hopper. they have some incredible trades not all of them of course but some of them have some really incredible trades there we go. And I might have to knock it, block him out so it doesn't affect me too much. Um, one of the ones I really want is a, is a pickaxe with lots of luck on it. So we should be able to place this down here now. Like, no, I need to go back like that. So that's going into this chest here. Then they need to go back two more blocks, I think. Certainly one. Actually, just one will do, I think. Yes, one will do. And then behind this, we put the door. I haven't got rid of these either. Oh, cool. Like this. So we've got our three iron doors. Two of them left. So put this just down here on this block. And it should face into me here. Now, behind this block, we want to put uh, the note block. And that's what it, so I can go straight into the wall here and put the note block straight into it. It doesn't have to be covered with a slab because it's, it's encased in. Now when you right click this, because it's got it's in this stone embedded in this, so it's not going to make any noise. But what we do need to know is make another put another slab on top of this like this. Like that. So that the um so that the fish hook can go into its place. And then we need to put two pieces of stone on each side of this. Like that. 
and like that. And then we put a slab on top of the chest here, which we can actually do. Like that. So this is our fishing area. I can't get in up here, but and then we put that two hooks on top and onto here like this. One, two. And then we put some water into here. So of course I need some to get the water up. I haven't got my push plate organised yet. I should do that. But that would be fairly simple to do. Let's just make a I think stone pressure plates had got it's two stone. will work. So let's just put a stone pressure plate down here like that. And then close the door. We should be able to walk out. Yes, good. So we can get in by pressing the button and go out with this, the thing and use the lever to open, keep it open. So water. So we should need, we need a bucket. We always need a bucket anyway. So we've got, we've got a reasonable amount of iron. It's coming along slowly, but fast enough. So we'll just do three in here and the other three in here. take a second now strings going to be a problem but if we go down here walk down where I haven't shown you this yet because the mining if I come I think it's round about here you can see at the bottom of the minimap yes it's starting to paint in now here on the minimap you look here and press Z for zooming you can see it looks like there's um some tunnels a bit further down here and press that on the map again yes you can see that definitely it looks like a mine that's where I'm looking at all this way around here so there'll probably be a spawner inside that almost undoubtedly in fact there's some, there's some <laughs> interesting you've got some drops over there maybe that's I could go outside and get some stuff from them from the mobs which probably have died and then you keep coming down here like this if I remember right, there was something. Um, what was it? Some lava underneath here, so I haven't bothered to do that. I've got some redstone here. And then we come to this little area here, which is a strange. I think it's a quark construction because this is quark, cobstone from quark. And then you've got. <laughs> don't ask me what type of uh, this is because I've got a cobweb in the middle of lava. It's strange. And then we've got these spikes from Quark. And this is where I was working my way down here. And then I think... No, nope, I've gone too far. Down here I've discovered diamonds, which is great. In fact, I've discovered diamonds down a couple of these ones, actually, I think. In fact, I've even discovered some more when I was working on this just a second ago. Some more diamonds here. Look, that's three sets of diamonds. And I think there's a fourth one. But I'm complaining about them being rare because they are, of course, rare. There's plenty of redstone about, as you can see. I can't remember what I dug out of there, something or other. And I think this was a single diamond by itself. Let's just jump. Oh, failed. Let's just. mobs, I can hear mobs. And I think I've got some more diamonds just here. Because this is actually the second time I made this video. <laughs> Let's get rid of this stuff. Maybe not. Maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe it's even here. Nope, some inferior more broken my pickaxe let's just light this up and prevent any mob spawning in that area I suppose there are four to be sure yeah that's fine turn it off again so I have at least one diamond let's just let's just um, pick this diamond up because it's just a single diamond so we have to be careful with that one as it happens we've got some rock candy in here I'll leave that for timing so when I go the next thing we're going to do, actually I do need more diamonds than this, is I would like to do turtles, but we'll leave that for the next episode, because I've got a good program for doing 
uh, Safe Mining, which will is a Safe Miner program that's written for computer craft. It doesn't work particularly well with the computer graph that we've got in at the moment because it's CC tweaked, which is computer craft tweaked, and it doesn't have all of the features of computer craft. Anyway, I th and where's it gone to? I came down here because I'm pretty sure there's there's a mob spawner here. Yes, I can hear the spiders. Now, where are they? There was an area where I... I think it was a flat one. Let's go a little bit further forward. It might... It was before... That was a little room I made. <laughs> and it wasn't this one. I thought it was... Before... I'll tell you what. I've probably run out of time for today, so I'll find it between episodes. I know it is. <clears throat> Excuse me. You'll see. I have to come along here, and you can hear them. There's two spiders here. Here, and I think there's a spider spawner above this. So maybe we can just knock out one hole here, like this, and we should be able. to can hear them dropping down. So let's just maybe here. I'm not sure exactly where the best place is. I know that they can. Oh yes, look. There's a spider spawner. So with a bit of luck I'll be able to get some of these guys and get the string I need for the fish farm. Yeah, wow. So that's enough for the to finish the fish farm. Now we need some more for the um I should come round here and drop on top of me, which is great. But I do want them to, to spawn and drop down. How many have I got now? Two pieces, so that's enough for the string. Great, job done. So what I'll do, I don't think I've picked up the string for the other one though. Did we pick it up? No, I didn't pick up the string. I have to wait for the next one to come down here. There we go. I have to wait for them to drop down. Obviously I don't want to make this too big. <laughs> a hole is fine for flat spiders, we can deal with them no problem. Can I get up one? Wouldn't that be dangerous? Oops, that was dangerous. <laughs> oh, she can't reach me from here, that's good. At least you can. That's my third piece of string I need. While he's doing that, I'll give me another one. Good, let's get out of here quickly. Break that one. Oh. I kind of get out of the way because I'm too high up. So I'll just block this up with the slab. So we can actually finish off that. So I'll go back and we'll finish off that. In fact, underneath that spider spawner, I noticed the chest. So I'll have to go and see if we can light it up and get that chest. So we've now got enough to at least to make a iron fishing rod. But I suspect it might be good. I've got enough gold to make a second gold fishing rod. Of course, it's night time now, so that's bad. Tell you what, I'll come back in a second when it's daytime. Right, it's daytime. <laughs> I just heard the saw the third mob appear. I've actually got some gold in here. I'm doing the gold. So let's. I made a bucket between uh, between times because there was enough iron in that thing to make that. Let's go in here. And so we'll put this, we'll finish this off. So we need a, a piece of string to go across the top, and we need to put the bucket of water in. We'll put the bucket of water in first, I think. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> I need to put the bucket of water into the hopper. So I need to be a little bit lower down, and I'm higher up than I'm. So let's just make a. Oh, oops. <laughs> I didn't want that to happen. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so he's offering me a bucket of tropical fish. I'm not sure. <laughs> Great. And probably I can go up here and block. Yes, I can. Good. So I can put the <laughs> I can put the bucket of water in here now. That's funny. So that's held into place, and we can then press push the one piece of string on here like that, and then that's in position on top of that. It's always gone good. You can get out, but you can't go back in again now. We also need to put some glass on top of that to make sure that the, above the water. So we got some glass. I've got some glass on me here. Uh, what else? We need a fishing rod. I wanted the gold, didn't I? 
I decided to make a gold fishing rod. Just make sure he doesn't come in. They can be a bit of a nuisance. So he gets into here, it's a real nuisance, I can tell you. <laughs> so we've got some more iron. Let's get this, let's get this crushed up. Actually, there's something's been dropped here. Quite often, these guys drop um, leads. Got, I think he's dropped his leads because he's lost his two two llamas are not attached to him because he, when he fell in he lost it. Where they, would they have gone to? Here. Yep, there we go. So all we now need to do is to smelt up this gold. I should have done that before I went up outside, shouldn't I? So we'll smelt up this gold. I made the bucket of iron. The iron bucket, that's great stuff. Got lead, I can put the lead away. I think I've got some leads in one of these. Here we go. We're getting quite a few leads from different guys who are dropping them. So we just need two pieces of iron, great. Gold, I mean. And then we can make the gold fishing rod. So this one, we should be able to make it one stick. I'm missing a stick. Great. So let's make the gold fishing rod. Let's go fishing. So, now, what this you can't do with this, I can let's, let's right click this onto here like this. Oops, I'm missing something. Oh, I'm missing, yes, I am. I'm missing a piece of redstone. One piece of redstone is what I need to put to finish this off. Close that up. Close that up. So the piece of redstone goes on this block back here, and I can't get to it. Fantastic. But I haven't put the block in. There's needs. I need another block of something back here like this, like that. And I also need in here a piece of glass just above. I think I need to go up two for that. Yeah, looks like I've gone up two. I think that's the daylight. It's hard to see, but let's just break. Yes, that one's just. You can see now. We'll break it out. You can see it's just got enough daylight, and that'll be actually the, what I need for fish. So I didn't put the redstone down on the block yet. I need to put the redstone on this block, and that'll then open the door when I when I press the trip wire, which we can't get. There we go. That was going. Now the door opens. So that's it. Let's just get fishing. So you aim just above the at the top of the door like that, and then it's opened up. What you, I was saying, what you can't do, I can press. I've got a mouse button which I can press on my mouse, and it'll automatically do a right, right, right a mouse right down. But I was just having a bit difficult. It's not working. I'm like, why not? It should be working. Let's press it anyway. So I hold it down like this. And I'll figure that out. And of course, it'll catch the fish and drop them in. But what I was saying, I normally what I do is change the control to do it. Let's say I've got a fish. What I normally do is change the control to use the enter key, but it's too fast in this version, so you can't do that anymore. Well, that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Next episode, we're going to go and see if we can look at what those spies have done. And maybe we should go and visit a village or something like that i certainly need a bed we'll get that sorted out as well so until then and between episodes what i'm going to do is i spend all my time fishing see if i can get some good stuff so until then bye for now <laughs>